Welcome to Mo Sports Gananoque, a special road report with the Gan Islanders. With three games left in the schedule and four points up, that first game against Port Hope was huge. If we could win, we got six points up with two games left. They can't catch us. Let's see how it went down in Port Hope. So the bus was loaded and off to Port Hope we'd go. The team warmed up and then fist bumps with special guest David. Then came the chances, another chance, and then this chance, followed by this and this, but they just didn't seem to fall. Then great goaltending by Jeremy Piazza on the penalty kill, two great saves on the same shift. More chances, uh, more chances, and then unfortunately, Port Hope takes a one nothing lead. More fist bumps to start period two, followed by more chances, and then unfortunately, two nothing lead by Port Hope. Uh, our chances kept coming, and then this as Aiden Johnson goes down. This didn't look good, folks, but uh, they may have sparked the team in getting into the game. It's now a 3-1 lead for Port Hope. After a scrum, would uh, we would wait for a decision. Coach Brian in the stands serving a two-game suspension for an incident at the end of Gans' thrilling OT winner versus Amherst View. With nine minutes of penalty kill, Jeremy Piazza stood tall. Another uh, man down after a Gan hard hit. Uh, a power, uh, a Port Hope power play goal makes the score 4-1. And then here, celebration of Gan's shorthanded goal to cut the lead 4-2. Gann would score another, cutting the deficit to one, and with more chances like this at the end, it was a little too little, a little too late. Final score, 4-3, Port for Hope. Well, folks, now we've got two games left. We're only two points up. Now we got to try to pull at least one of these two out to play for the championship. So we decided to go on the road again, and let's see what happened down in Picton at the second of the three road games this week. After arriving in Picton, Kananakwe would warm up. Had a strong start, big hit here, and a bad bounce over the stick here. Chance here, another chance, more opportunity. This one off the post here, followed by a close call, but nothing. Yet more power play chances. And so 0-0 score ending the first is better than a deficit of the last couple of games. After starting period two on this chance, a Picton would celebrate a 1-0 lead. Very soon after, it was 2-0 Picton. Gananakwe would squeak this in to cut the deficit in half. Another chance, no penalty on the cross check to the neck. From the face off this opportunity, Picton regained the two goal lead here. Uh, end of period two, time to regroup. Great penalty kill saved by Jeremy Piazza. And another here. A face off win uh, to a chance. And then this attempt from the point got stuffed and Picton would win the game three to one. So folks, regardless of whether Port Hope wins tonight or not, we're likely gonna have to win that game in Amherst View on Sunday night at seven o'clock. So call your friends, get the phone numbers out, get the carpools, the van pools ready, get the flags, the banners, let's go. Let's get all down to Amherst View for seven o'clock on Sunday night and see if we can help those Can Islanders make that game to get to the playoffs. Folks, there's still going to be the regular podcast Sunday night with the uh, highlights from that Gan Islanders road game, as well as high school basketball and high school cheerleading. So folks, whether you're on the sport gridiron, in the bleachers, at that road game on Sunday night in Amherstview, or at hashtag Mo Sports Gan in Ocway, you better be there, or be square. <laughs>